we will now take up the next 10 questions which were asked under the botany section of neat paper so let's start with the first question this question is a very simple and a very basic type of a question which is clearly theoretical here it says the site of perception of light in plants during photoperiodism is so we know the part of the plant that helps in photoperiodism is leaf so the straight answer to this question is option b axillary buds shoot apex and stem they don't hold true for this particular question so the answer is b now let's talk about the next question it says the first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation is in sorghum is so we know sorghum is a plant which shows the c4 pathway that is in the dry areas and the organisms which show this type of a pathway in them the very first stable product is oaa that is oxaloacetic acid so the answer to this question will be d succinic acid phosphoglyceric acid and pyruvic acid do not play a role over here now let's come to the next question this is a matching type of a question here the list a gives criste thalacoid centromere and cisterne and on the other side are their definitions so we have to match them let's start with criste so we know criste are the infoldings which are seen in mitochondria that is the infoldings of the inner membrane of mitochondria that is criste so a will be matched with third option out of all the options that are given over here only option a gives the correct matching then let's go with thalacoid thalacoid are actually the flattened membranous sacs which are present in the stroma of plastids so answer will be b4 then centromere is primary constriction in chromosomes we know this thing and cisterne are actually disc shaped sacs of the golgi apparatus so the answer a holds true for this particular question then now this is the central dogma which is given over here in the equation here we have to tell that a b c and d it stands for what so a refers to the replication of dna where dna is making its own copy so a is replication which is given over here as well as here then b refers to the process of transcription where dna it forms the messenger rna so b refers to transcription which is very correctly given in these both the options option b and d they don't hold true then mrna converts into proteins and this process is known as translation so c is translation and d is proteins which is correctly given by option number a here transduction is wrong so answer a is the correct of for this question now let's look at another question so this is from the chapter number 11 class 11th that is transport in plants here they have given certain phenomena as cohesion adhesion then surface tension and gutation so we know what is cohesion cohesion is the attraction that is the mutual attraction among the water molecules so co refers to the mutual attraction between the water molecules then the adhesion refers to the attachment towards the polar surface so the attachment of water molecules towards the polar surface that is known as adhesion then surface tension refers to the more attraction in liquid phase when the liquid phase is more attracted towards each other that is known as surface tension and gutation refers to the loss of water in the liquid phase so if we go with all the matching only option c holds true for this particular question now let's talk about another statement this is a question from photosynthesis and here they have asked which of the following statement is incorrect so we have to find out an incorrect statement now if we see the photosynthesis process here we know that gramma lamella have both ps1 as well as ps2 so this is a correct statement gramma lamella has ps1 as well as ps2 then cyclic phosphorylation 
involves both PS1 as well as PS2. So this is wrong. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation actually involves both the systems and cyclic involves only PS1. So this is a wrong statement. Then, both ATP and NADPH plus H positive are synthesized during the non-cyclic photophosphorylation. This is a correct statement. We have seen both are formed. And stroma lamellae have PS1 only and lack NADP reductase. So, this is also a correct statement. Now, we had to find out an incorrect option. So, obviously, B is the incorrect option for this particular question. Now here we have to select the correct pair. So here they have given the cells of medullary rays that form part of cambial rings are known as the interfascicular cambium. We know that this statement is correct. The medullary ray cells that form the ring of cambial cells, they are known as the interfascicular cambium. Then loose parenchyma cells which rupture the epidermis and form a lens shape opening in the bark is spongy parenchyma no this is known as lenticles then large colorless empty cells in the epidermis of grass leaves are subsidiary cells they are known as bully form cells so this is also wrong and then in dicot leaves vascular bundles are surrounded by large thick thin thick walled cells which are conjunctive tissue no this is also wrong so out of all these, only A is the correct matching for this particular question. So let's see, this is the answer. Now, let's go to another question. This says, identify the correct statement. So we have to identify correct statement over here. The coding strand in a transcription unit is copied to mRNA. So the coding strand is not copied. It is the non-coding strand or the template strand it is coded in the transcription unit to form the mRNA. So obviously this is a wrong statement. Then let's talk about another split gene arrangement is a characteristic feature of prokaryotes. No, the split gene arrangement is a characteristic feature of eukaryotes. This is not a feature of prokaryotes. So this is again a wrong statement. Then in capping, methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the 3 dash end of the HNRNA. No, it is not added to the 3 dash end. It is added to the 5 dash end of the HNRNA. So obviously this is also a wrong statement. Then RNA polymerase binds to the rho factor to terminate the process of transcription in prokaryotes. Yes, we have seen that it is the rho factor which binds and then it helps in the termination or the ending of the process of transcription in bacteria that is prokaryotes. So out of all these options, the correct statement is D. Now let's talk about another question. This is again a matching type of a question which is asked from the cell cycle and division. Here the various phases are given that is S phase, G2 phase, quiescent stage and G1 phase along with the various type of developments which are happening in those particular phase. So let's start with S phase. We know the S phase is important. Why? Because DNA doubling or DNA replication takes place over here. So A will be matched by 4 and out of all these options only option number A as well as D show A matching with 4. Then let's talk about G2 phase. G2 phase is that phase where the proteins are synthesized. So we can match B with 1. Out of both the options, B is matched with 1 only in A. And here it is wrong. These options are wrong. Then let's talk about quiescent stage. So quiescent stage is considered as an inactive phase where the cell, it moves out of the cell cycle and it has decided to undergo differentiation. That means it will no more be part of the cell cycle and it is considered as an inactive phase. So here we will match C with 2 and G1 is considered the interval between the mitosis and the initiation of DNA replication that is the S phase. So the interval between the S, between the M and the S phase is the center phase that is known as the G1 phase. So the answer to this question lies in option A. 
Now let's talk about this question. Here we are referring to the matching of various type of bacteria with the process that they undergo or the process that they facilitate. So we can see over here nitrococcus is that bacteria which helps in the conversion of ammonia to nitrite. So A will be matched with 2. Now let's see the option which is matching A with 2. Then rhizobium is that bacteria which matches which converts the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. So B will be matched with 4. Thiobacillus is that bacteria which undergoes denitrification helps in the process of denitrification and nitrobacter helps in the conversion of nitrite to nitrate. So if we look at all these matchings we see that only option C is the correct answer to this particular question. So these were some of the questions which were asked in the NEET 2020-21 question paper.